Morning. Morning. This show contains mature content. Listener discretion is advised. Are you ready to get your mind blown? One angry New York City Puerto Rican decided to start a radio show. Determined to piss the world off by shoving a mirror in front of society's face. He kicked them in the balls. What are you? Who are you? This is the Crotch Shot Radio Show. Crotch Shot Radio Show. This is not a test. This is a broadcast transmission. We're going to stay on the air. And now, and now, the weepy, the weepy. Welcome to the Karate Chat Radio Show, where we kick the issues in the balls. We are on an active war against bullshit. We would do anything and everything to expose bullshit. The ends sometimes justify the memes. So if you're angry and want the truth exposed, then strap in and prepare to be shocked. This is Smash Mouth Talk. If you can't accept that, then fuck off. I'm your host, Louis B. I takes no bullshit. From anybody actually expose the bullshit of society and uh, and chop it up into easy to digest chunks for you today won't be any different today. I'm just look. I took my time. I waited. You know, uh, I didn't just jump on this subject before. You know, I I wanted to, wanted to wait till um, most of the details came out, so that way I could form my own opinion on this. Um. Of course, I'm talking about the Brett Kavanaugh, which I understand has been spoken about ad nauseum. Ad nauseum. I get you. I understand. But, you know, I, I, um, I'm, I'm, I'm going to come at it as someone that's been falsely accused of shit. And the, the whole climate that this is creating. Everyone is like, oh, what if this? What if that? What if? I'm actually coming from at, from actually being falsely accused and actually getting my ass kicked behind the lie. I've told this story many times on this show before. Um, some of you might be new that are listening now. In fact, let me say what's up to my peoples who are listening. Um, let's go with the statistics. Let's go with the geolocations. A uh, big shout out to my people in San Jose, California. Um, Mountain View, Cali. What's up? What's up? <clears throat> of course, my people in New York, uh, Kansas City. What's up? Uh, Bridgetown, uh, Barbados, what's up? Uh, Queenstown, Maryland, how you doing? Uh, <clears throat> Ashburn, Virginia, what up, what up? Uh, Brooklyn, where Brooklyn at? Where Brooklyn at? What's up? Hastings, Barbados, how you doing? Uh, Greensville, Maryland, oh, uh, uh, wait, sorry, uh, Grayson, Graysonville, Maryland. Sorry, my bad. Uh, Jean Dobre to my people in Belgium. Uh, Guten Tag in... Uh, oh, I mean, Jean Dobre in Poland. Guten Tag in Belgium. Bonjour in France. How, how you doing, A, in Canada? Uh, good day, mate, in Australia. Uh, I guess another Guten Tag 
in Germany, Barbados, I don't know, Sweden, how you doing, I don't know, how to say it in your language, Barbados, I don't know how to say it in your language, uh, United Kingdom, I don't know how to say hello in your language, I'm just kidding, how you doing, and of course my peoples in the United States, a big what's up to you guys, um, <clears throat> And if you're listening in in foreign countries, look, we got we're, we're trying. Well, the pre, we're trying to get a guy confirmed. Well, not we, but uh, the the you know the our parliament, as you might call it, our version of parliament or or or, or Congress, if you have a Congress, is trying to confirm a Supreme Court judge. They're in charge of interpreting the the Constitution, so that way it's like, oh well, you know, you don't you the United States has the right to deny you this, or does not have the right to deny you this, and and other court cases when it uh, relates to our freedoms um, stated in the Constitution. So you know, and this pretty much becomes for all intents and purposes it becomes the law of the land like it, like uh in the case of um you know you you have a right to a, a, an attorney uh that was decided in the supreme court um of course Roe versus Wade abortion that was uh that was decided in the supreme court um when it comes to what 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 a lot of the left or Democrats were are worried about is that if they get um, a judge that isn't that's pro-life, they're afraid that they might rule against and take away a woman's right for an abortion. Um, on Monday, I had um, Rucker Rucker Ali, and we spoke about abortion. And honestly, after I got off, I forgot to mention, and and I'm like. Um, you know, at which point does the right of the fetus come to play? At which point does a fetus become a life? Where I, where, where I come from, the way I was taught, the way I, you know, in biology and religion and, and, and whatnot, you know, life starts when sperm meets egg. That's it. Um... However, I I do have something again. I have a lot against partial birth abortion, when you're actually ripping out body parts of a fetus that's like it looks like a little tiny hand, a torso, and whatnot, and it's getting cut apart. That's when I'm like, yo, that's no, that's murder. I believe partial birth abortion is murder. And once it gets to a certain point, it, it, it's murder. I'm sorry, ladies, you might hate me. You're like, oh, I have the right to kill my baby. I'm sorry, I don't, I don't believe you do. What if I was raped? Okay, in the minimal, mi- the, the, I, I, and I don't even know then. I mean, because it's like, it's not the child's fault either. Whether... I, I don't know. I, I can't answer that. It's horrendous. It, it must be shit. I, I don't... And I don't feel like I, I... I don't know. I just... That I don't know. It has to be decided by someone way smarter than me. Um... But, uh... You know, the... You know, the child is, you know, and, and the thing is, is like, oh, oh, what if you can't afford to have a baby? Well, then you shouldn't be having sex or you should be playing safe because I'm 35. I'm 35. I have no kids. That's because I always wrap it up. You take precautions. I mean, even if if getting pregnant and having a child wasn't a risk of happening, there's still all these STDs. Why aren't you protecting yourself from STDs that are running around all crazy and shit? So, I mean, that's that's my rant about uh, uh, abortion, but, you know, 
that's where the Supreme Court justice, that's what they're afraid that they're going to take the way, uh, right, the, uh, the right of abortion from people. Well, from women. So. Oh, man. Oh, man, I'm a little sick. I'm sorry. But anyways, with Brett Kavanaugh, I mean, there's also another another uh, 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 constitutional right we have that that shit gets ignored. It's getting ignored. And, of course, you probably already heard of it. It's innocent till proven guilty. The problem is, they're expecting Brett Kavanaugh, Judge Kavanaugh, to provide his, to, to prove his own innocence. How the fuck am I supposed to prove my own innocence? I mean, and he, and he, and God love him, he, he's, tr- he tries. He's like, look, this is my calendar from 1982. I wasn't in any of the places she said. Oh, that's strange. I've heard the argument. Oh, that's strange that he has a calendar from so long. I don't believe it. It's because, you know, it's like you can't, you don't hold on to shit. Just because you throw something away. Okay, he's guilty because he he kept something. He's guilty because he breathes air. He's guilty because of the way he acted. Like it, it get like it gets to the point where okay, you're gonna ignore the facts, but it's like okay, this strange thing that doesn't mean anything. If anything, it proves his innocence. Is 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 being taken taken by the left as proof of his guilt. And unfortunately. Unfortunately, since uh, so much time has passed, even if he was guilty or something, nothing's going to happen to him. He's not going to get charged. Only because there is no fucking physical evidence. There is no actual evidence. There's no one corroborating her testimony, uh, the testimony. But no one gives a fuck about innocent till proven guilty. The burden of proof is on you. Yeah, this is not a real court. This is not a court case. This is not a court case. Okay, well, you know what? You're trying to deny me a job based on fucking allegations. So maybe my freedom isn't at risk, but my career is. My name my name is at risk. I mean, and you have all these protesters who many are funded by George Soros to do this shit. Scream and, and, and carry on and whatnot. You have all these women marching around you. Like, it, it, I filmed something last week. You had uh, women, like, having Kevin Nope signs. Or oh, I believe Christy Blasey Ford signs. Signs? Why did I say it like that? Signs. I'm smoking the crack. I swear. Ugh. I gotta stop smoking. Gotta put down the crack. Put down the crack pipe. Uh, it's not doing good for your soul. Cocaine is a hell of a drug. Cocaine and crack are two different drugs. <laughs> so. So it's um, you know you have them like oh I believe her I believe her and it's mostly because they're projecting whatever trauma they went through onto onto Brett Kavanaugh just because you've been raped doesn't make every man a rapist And I refuse, I refuse to have to apologize for a rape that I didn't participate in, that I didn't plan out, that I don't fucking condone. And it's like, I, my, all my male friends that I have, 
view rape as fucking repugnant. In fact, I'm talking about, I'm like bringing this up because last night, Steven Crowther released, they changed my mind, rape culture is a myth. I've had Lauren Southern here uh, three years back talking about how rape culture is, is a myth. Because we prosecute it. We as a society find finds rape repugnant. Rapist, in my opinion, I am not a I, I you know, I didn't look into this, I'm not a psychiatrist, but in my opinion, to have a desire to beat up a woman and steal her virtue or well, you know, her sex to 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 beat up a woman for her body to, to have sex with her body forcibly is is insane it is sickening it is is horrific it is not a po- is not a positive route for 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 dating is what i'm trying to say it is you know it, it's disgusting i mean i remember when i used to live in williamsburg brooklyn Whenever they would talk about rape, man, if I wasn't working the next day, I'm walking around my neighborhood at three in the morning patrolling, patrolling, walking around, making sure, you know, I I wouldn't follow women, but if I know there's a dude following a woman, I'm following that dude. I've done it a couple times. Both those times it turned out to be the dude, the, the, the chick's boyfriend. So I disengage. My my hopes were not to, that I would find the rape, but that I would stop it. If that makes any sense, that that didn't make sense in my when I just said it. I hope I didn't. I wasn't tr- rooting. I wasn't rooting for a rape to happen in order for me to stop it. I wanted to just, at the very least, be a presence so that way it was a deter- that it would be a deterrent. That is how disgusting I view sex. That I'm willing to put myself on the line for a stranger. Not so that way I could get some of that thank you nookie. If anything, I probably would have walked away as soon as she was safe and not give my name because I probably would have committed a, a crime by beating the crap out of the rapist to the, to the point of death because that shit is disgusting. And I'm not see, trying to be a Mr. Social Justice Warrior. I'm not trying to fucking be a virtual signaler. It's just that we as a, we as a society... Rape is fucking repugnant. Rape is fucking disgusting. I don't believe we live in a rape culture. But if Brett Kavanaugh raped all these women, like honestly, that would make him a serial rapist. You don't just stop. You don't just, like, you don't, like, when the rapists start raping that many women, they're doing it, they, they have a sickness in them. I mean, I'm not trying to take away their responsibility by calling it a sickness, but it's 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 something inside of them. I I would I would say demon demonic possession at at, at you know. I know it sounds weird to the to the atheists that listen, but you know, it's something. I mean, they know what they're doing is wrong, or else they wouldn't run away. They would stand there and be like, "Ah, oh, I co-signed this shit." Like it was a finger painting on their mom's fucking uh, fridge. Oh, sorry, excuse me. I was I did a double at work. Got home this morning. I only took a little nap, but I wanted to make sure I do a show here. But back to this topic. So I mean, you wouldn't. You, he would. There would be other fucking cases. Recent cases. Of him doing shit. Like with like with 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 with, 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 with the, the, the Harvey Weinstein. There was recent cases. There was recent people. There there's a fucking uh, tape recording of him trying to uh, of Harvey Weinstein trying to force a woman 
to fucking watch him shower. To do some stupid shit. And honestly, I'm getting tired of this, uh, you know, this slacktivism by these women. Women are triggered by this, and they're like, they, they're going overboard. They're not being objective. Her story is inconsistent. She, her own, her own witnesses refuse to, or are, are either refusing to to freaking participate or say that he wasn't there. They don't, they don't, co- co- oh man, I'm sorry. They don't corroborate her story. Yes, she's credible because she was joking around. She was smiling. She was giggling to, like, honestly. In fact, hold on, let me, let, there's this article. Eight big problems for Christine Blasey Ford's story. This was uh, from the New York Post. So, of course, take it with a grain of salt. Christine Blasey Ford's allegations against Brett Kavanaugh are serious. Oh, wait. Okay, wait. wait, 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 wait. Here are the eight holes. Number one. For starters, Ford still can't recall basic details. What she says was the the most uh, traumatic events in her life. Now, not where the assault took place. She's not. She's not sure whose house it was, or even what street it was on. Nor where. Nor when. She's not even sure of the year, let alone the day and the month. Ford's not certain how old she was or what grade she was in. When she says an older student violently molested her, but she doesn't she doesn't plead inebriation. She's described having just one beer at the party. So she must have been at least 18. Ford con, uh, Ford concedes she told no one what was happen what ha- what happened to her at the time not even her best friend or mother the mean uh number two uh yeah that means she can rely she can rely on no contemporary uh oh wait contemporary contemporary a contemporaneous witness to the uh, to collaborate corroborate her story. Number three, worse, the four other people she identifies as attending the party include Kavanaugh's, include including Kavanaugh, all deny knowledge of uh, the gathering in question, including uh, Leland uh, Leland Ingram, uh, Keisha, uh, uh, yeah, Keisha. Which she calls a lifelong friend. Uh, four, her own immediate family doesn't appear to be backing her up either. Her mother, father, uh, and two siblings are all conspicuously absent from a letter supporting released by the um. Uh, boy. Wait, either uh, her mother, sibling, okay, her own immediate family doesn't appear to be backing her up either. Her mother, father, two siblings are all conspicuously absent from a leather uh, support, uh, from a leather support released by a dozen relatives, mostly on her husband's side of the family. Number five, this summer, Ford tried to reach out to an old friend from high school and college to jog, to jog her memory. They couldn't help her. I've been trying to forget this all my life, and now I'm supposed to remember. 
every little detail. Ford complained to one of one friend in July, according to an account in the San Jose Mercury News. Number six. Yet she still, uh, yet she still pushed forward with her uh, bombshell charge, con- uh, contacting the Washington Post tip line and Democrat lawmaker while hiring a Democrat activist lawyer. Ford is also a Democrat as well as an antitrust marcher, anti-Trump marcher, raising the question about the motive, timing of. All the allegations with uh, with their veracity. Number seven, Ford uh, Ford contends uh, contends that uh, that notes her therapy took in 2012 uh, can uh, corroborate her account, but they don't mention Kavanaugh. Number eight, in another inconsistent uh, inconsistency, Ford told the Washington Post she was upset when Trump won in 2016 because Kavanaugh was was mentioned as a Supreme Court pick, but Kavanaugh was added to Trump's list. A uh, possible uh, was not, wasn't added to Trump's list. A possible until November 2017, a full year later. I'm sorry. I'm like, I was falsely accused. Let me tell you the story. It happened when I was 19 years old. I was dating this girl for nine months. This was my first real girlfriend. Uh, You know, I moved out of my mom's house. I was dating. Nine months. Um, She, you know, I was still kind of religious, so... When she was like, "Oh, I'm, I only, I, 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 you know, I don't have sex. I, you know, I want to wait for marriage." Fine. I was like, "Fine, cool, w- cool. It's traditional. Let's be traditional." Uh, in the nine months, I've only, saw, I, I only saw her a month because she was always spending time at her best friend Skyler's house on Staten Island. She would be there weeks on end, weeks on end, and there would always be a fight because hey, I wanted to see her, I wanted to be with her, I wanted to you know get to know her, you know go out with her. She's like, oh wow, I can't see my friends. I'm like, yeah, but you're always at your friends. I would make time to see her. I would because at the time I was going to work and I was in school, and I would uh you know I would go see her. Uh, what you know whenever she was. At her mom's house or at parents' house. Well, one Saturday I went to go see her, and as I was walking into the, you know, into the the the, 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 the what the fuck the the lobby, the elevator door is open and she's kissing her best girlfriend, who's actually her lover, her actually a girlfriend. So she was using me as a cover. uh, So that way her parents wouldn't suspect that she was a lesbian. And I just happened to catch her. I guess this was God's way of of revealing the truth to me. So I just woke up. I'm like, well, I guess this is over. And, you know, I'm walking home pissed off. I'm like, wow, I wasted a lot of time. She could have just told me. So that way I wouldn't be wasting my time being faithful, I could have found someone else. Someone that actually wanted to be with me. So I'm fucking livid. And, you know, as I'm turning the corner on my block, a car stops by me. Her brother, her uncle, her father, her brother's friends jump out the car. Why did you rape her? I'm like, wait, what? She said she's crying. She said you raped her. I'm like, I didn't touch her. I broke up. We broke up. They kicked my ass. <laughs> they just jumped me, kicked my ass, <coughs> threw me in the car, drove me to the police station, 
She was there. Uh, as I'm in the interrogation room, the detective, the, the, the detective says, here, sign this confession. And you could go free. I'm like, I didn't do anything. And, you know, what, what I found later on, she's in the next room. They're trying to convince her to go to the hospital to get a rape kit. Because she's like, oh, he wasn't wearing a condom. He came inside of me. Ba 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 ba. Obviously, the only DNA she was going to get was uh, from the plastic dildo her girlfriend was fucking her with. So she she refused to go to the hospital. And they're like, oh, well, we're going to have to cut him loose. Da, 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 ba, 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 ba. I lied. She goes, I lied. He didn't do nothing to me. The truth is, I'm a lesbian. And he caught me kissing my girlfriend. Oh. <laughs> this is what I'm told. Like, oh. Said her mom. They let me go. They didn't let me press charges on the assault that I got. They didn't. Uh, the detectives like, don't push your luck. You lucked out. Keep your nose clean. Get the fuck out. And that made me hate women for 10 years. 10 years. It's like, so when, when, when like women don't lie about rape, yes, they do. You need a lot more than fucking tears to convince me you were raped. In fact, not even tears. She was she was crying no tears. She crying no tears. Kavanaugh trying to fight him back, getting pissed off. He's pissed off. And, and, and all people can say, oh, why are you getting pissed off? Oh, that's proof that he's angry. That's proof. And you know what? I'm willing to concede. Hey, you might have a point. Okay, this is a job interview. You should be able to. Con- you should have. You, you know. You should try to con- uh, control yourself. But the, then again, if you keep if you keep getting told the same, ask the same fucking question in a different way, you get annoyed. Like, yo, I'm not a motherfucking rapist. And then you're ignoring the 65 women that wrote a letter defending the man's character. Defending, like, the, the man had no fucking recent, nothing, no recent fucking a- allegations. None. You had these 65 women writing letters saying that he was a fantastic person. He was a mentor. He helped many of them, uh, you know, with their careers. Yet those women get ignored. Why? Do, how come those women are not believed? Sixty-five compared to what? Three and what? The the other two are you know the other two don't want to uh, don't want to come forward. The other two don't want to speak to the FBI. The other two either either recanted or whatnot. But we're gonna ignore the sixty-five women stating uh, his his innocence. Can someone tell me how that works out? And then, you know, and then I mentioned this to a friend and she goes, oh, well, one of them backed up because he said something. He called her or something. I'm like, okay, then you got 64. And even she wasn't raped by him. Okay, he was talking shit like as a kid. I talk shit now. I really, yeah. But anyways, I'm gonna I'm gonna take a quick break. I want to play this song by Reality Addiction. Songs called. 
Bridges. That was Reality Addiction with their song, Bridges. This is the Crutch Out Radio Show, kicking the balls. Kicking the issues directly in the balls. How you guys doing? Talking about Brett Kavanaugh. Like, my question is, when, once once we find out uh, what's it, what, what the FBI found or didn't find. Like, ladies, what are your plans if the FBI doesn't find shit on Kavanaugh? Because I don't think the pink pussy hat is going to cut it this time. I recommend using the old Latino remedy of Vicks applied to your chapped ass for relief. It just, you know... It's just really like you have all these leftist women and they just, they love to be a victim. Yeah, I was raped. I was raped. Like, on, like, it, it, it's really, you know, maybe, maybe it's because this is something I would never do. I, I It's, it's kind of hard to believe that all these women have, like, oh, every, like, every woman has a rape story. Like, all these women have been raped? Really? All these women have been sexually assaulted? Really? Who the fuck is doing this? Like, is it like a... Like, is it this this one dude that's running around? Like, let, let's get that dude. Kick his ass. Or, or at least ship him to the Middle East. Let him let him be their problem. Mm. 
But, yeah. You know, and then they use the same logic that they used to attack Trump. Oh, he breathes air. He, the way he drank water. The way he, you know, he was angry. The way he cried. It proves his guilt. Oh, uh, the way the stars aligned when he was born. He, it, he, was ra- he was born under a rapist moon. Like, what the fuck? Like, y'all reaching. Y'all motherfuckers are reaching. And I'm really getting, um, you know, and honestly, both sides and Republicans and Democrats, both sides are fucking full of shit. Both sides. They're like, oh, well, I believe she was, uh, I believe something happened to her or, oh, she's a victim too. Always trying to play politics. No, if you don't believe she was raped, say she wasn't raped. I don't believe she was raped. Because honestly, you would think if someone was raped, she would be cursing out Diane Feinstein for putting her in this position. She would be cursing out Diane Feinstein for, for, for fucking holding on to this shit for so long. I know I would. I'd be cursing out. I would be cursing out my son. And like, yo. You waited this long to fucking bring this shit up? You like, you you knew about it? You had the motherfucker in your office and you didn't fucking discuss this shit with him? Like, you're, you're just being self-serving. Maybe, may, you know, you know what? Maybe I do believe Blazy Ford got raped. By the Democrats. By the Democrat Party, she got raped. And then you got all these people fucking, all these guys fucking virtual signaling. Like, oh, I'm not a rapist. Er, er. You know what? And everyone, as, as Uncle Louie likes to tell you, if you're, show me a male feminist, I'll show you a fucking rapist. Do, do, do. Okay. So, I mean, look, I, and honestly, make fun of me if you want, man, but this whole shit triggered me. Because it's like, oh, now we don't need, we don't need proof? We don't need proof? Just the word of one bitch? To fucking ruin your life? Because the Democrats really poisoned the well when it came to this. They're gonna, they're the ones that are gonna make it hard for anyone to come forward. They're gonna, they made it, they're making it difficult for real, real survivors to come out. But hey, it, it's pretty much their modus operandi at this point. Because when women were coming out against fucking uh, uh, Bill Clinton uh, back in the day, well, they smacked them motherfuckers down. Immediate law. You get in there, can you get me some pie? They point. They they really fucked it up. They fucked it up for people. Side note: I would like to thank everyone that's listening. Please click the like, comment, like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't done so. Uh, you know, spread it around. Tell your friends and family about the Grouch Out Radio Show. But, anyways, back to this. It's just, it's fucking. It really is fucking frustrating. Like you have you have these women carrying on. Like I, I don't know if you've seen that video of of that black girl with the blonde wig uh, ripping up signs and shit. Which it, she wouldn't have been able to do that shit to me. I would have smacked the shit out of her. Like no 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 no. You're not gonna get gully with me because you wanna be like I was raped. <coughs> yeah, did Kavanaugh do it? No. 
oh, okay. Why don't you why don't you go after the guy that fucking raped you and stop, you know, and not attack me because I believe someone's innocent. Like you want to use this to control the conversation. You know, like, I was raped. Okay. I I was falsely accused of rape. Now what? Mexican standoff. Well, Puerto Rican standoff. Which is the best kind of standoff there is. If you need a stand if if you need a standoff, consider Puerto Rican standoff. Puerto Rican standoff since nineteen seventy six. We've been providing standoff procedures and uh, for <laughs> fuck it. Fuck, fuck, I fucked it up. <laughs> the Puerto Rican standoff method. Mef method. M E F O D Method. Ugh. <laughs> So, oh, man. Anyways, uh, before I close out the show, I'm gonna play another song from uh, Reality Addiction, and it is called something like that. <laughs>
that was Reality Addiction with their song, Something Like That. Unfortunately, I can't find out where they are, so enjoy. <laughs> enjoy that song. But, um, yeah, man. When it comes down to it, no matter what the fucking rhetoric is, it's innocent until proven guilty. Unless you're gonna fucking charge this man with a crime, unless you produce actual hard evidence, there is no reason to not confirm Kavanaugh. All these lawyers that are signing these protests and whatnot to not confirm him, you... You're lawyers. You should know better. You should be disbarred. These, uh, the, the lawyers for Blazy Ford should be disbarred. And they just might. They, they, uh, they didn't represent their client well. That's if she's telling the truth. They obviously don't have their best interest. But at the end of the day, who uh, who has her best interest? I know I don't have a best interest. The Republicans don't have her best interest. The Democrats don't have a best intru- interest. She is just political father. And if she's a real victim, that's a fucking shame. But if she's a lying bitch, then she's getting what the fuck she deserves. Anyways, I'd like to thank everyone for listening. Please like, comment, and subscribe to however you're listening to this show. We uh, Be sure to subscribe on iTunes, iHeart, um, Spotify. We are on, now on Spotify, man. I, I can't believe we, uh, well, we, I, you know, the show is now on Spotify. You could to listen to all 761 episodes of the Crotch Out Radio Show on Spotify. Be sure to, um, you know, uh, uh, click on the sponsorship. So that way, you know, they'll be like, oh, wow, the show's profitable. Let's uh, let's not fuck with them. So, or or hopefully, hopefully, you know, give them a check or something. Help, help a brother out. Anyways, I'd like to thank everyone for listening. And as always, from my house to your house, mahalo. And that's the end of my show, Donk. Help the Crowd Shout Radio Show grow and thrive by doing something you already do. Shop on Amazon. Amazon always has great deals for whatever you are looking for. From survivalists and riot gear to beanie babies. Next time you're going to shop at Amazon, use my link. The prices stay the same, but I get credit for the sale. Just go to tinyurl.com slash B. And just shop normally, knowing that you're helping support the Crotch Shot Radio Show. That's tinyurl.com slash Louis B.